What up, YouTube? Stevie Night here. Night talk ish. Uh, before we tap in, like always, merch shop stevienight.com for the drip. Um, like the video, like the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel, especially subscribe to Night Talk because you know YouTube be with your boy. But, um, apparently, Caitlin Clark is pissing women off. Um, that don't make no sense to me. Like, why on earth? How on earth? How is it possible that Caitlin Clark is out here pissing women off in any capacity? Um, I'm confused. I don't know the narrative. I don't know what is going on. I'm only here because I came into this due to me seeing LeBron talk about Caitlin Clark and Charles Barkley talk about Caitlin Clark. My advice to Caitlin um, and my advice to anyone that comes in with this, you know, this level of like notoriety, you know, out of this world I, expectation, you know, whatever the case may be, I just think just, um, and I didn't even come in with that. I didn't come in, I came in with the narrative, but I didn't come in with that type of aura. I just wanted to come in and learn from the vets and then put, you know, put the work in. So I think for, for my advice to Caitlin um, and my advice to anyone that comes in with this, you know, this level of like notoriety, you know, out of this world I, expectation, you know, whatever the case may be, I just think just, you know, it's all about having, you know, a, a, be a, a horse, man. You know, the Kentucky Derby, put your blinders on, go to work, show up to work, punch your clock in, prepare yourself, work on your game, work on your craft, you know, kind of keep your mouth shut, you know, and just learn from the vets. When they ask, you voice your opinion. If, if they want your opinion, man, early on, because everybody is looking for you to say anything and they're going to splice it and cut it and make it a negative thing. Like, and I think for her, the one thing that I love that she's bringing to her sport, more people want to watch. More people want to tune in. I saw for the first time that they had, they had a chartered plane for the first time in their league history. You know, they flew private. That should be celebrated in its own right. For anyone that's, you know, in sports that's flown commercial or flown, you know, charter, that should be celebrated. And it's because of Caitlin Clark. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it fucked up. Caitlin Clark is the reason why a lot of great things is going to happen for the WNBA. You women out there, y'all petty, man. Hey, LeBron, you 100% right on these girls hating on Caitlin Clark. Y'all petty, girls. <laughs> I expect men to be petty because we're the most insecure group in the world. Oh, you are. Y'all should be thanking that girl for getting y'all ass private charters, all the money and visibility she bring into the WNBA. Don't be petty like dudes. Listen. What she's accomplished, give her her flowers. Stop being petty, all you women out there. She got y'all ass charters. She bringing all y'all this money to the table, but y'all being petty like dudes. LeBron, you 100% right. Y'all girls, stop being petty. Kayla Clark, thank you for bringing all that money and shine to the WNBA. There should not be any reason on this God green earth that anything women, period, is mad, hating, envious, has jealousy of Caitlin Clark because the woman has put the WNBA on the map, bruh. On the map, bruh. It's the reason I know specifically for me as far as my as far as my algorithm is concerned because I do not follow anything WNBA but I have noticed the uptick on WNBA coverage. Why? Because of can Caitlin Clark, bro. And um that's why I'm here to figure out what the hell is going is going on, who is saying what, why are they saying it and y'all need to shut the fuck up. Um, and I was uh, brought to the view, of course. Like, I mean, it's the fucking view. They, they say the most dumb, retarded shit ever. But that makes no fucking sense. Cause why would the why would the women of the view 
be trying to talk shit about Caitlyn Clark. Y'all the most victimhood, pro-feminine, pro-woman panderers of all goddamn time. Y'all hating on Caitlyn, bro? Anyway, um, let's do it. Let's talk about Caitlyn Clark, because she's the breakout star of the WNBA right now with the highest salary in league history. Yeah. <laughs> A $28 million endorsement deal from Nike. And in a, in a new article in the LA Times about her success, sports journalist Jamil Hill. Jamil, Jamil Hill. That is a hard one, though. It's hard. I'm trying to say her name. It's hard. Jamil My lips just fail. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I felt them start and then, ooh. It was like, really, so let me try again. Jamil Hill. Yeah. Compares Clark to Steph Curry for being relatable to fans, but claims the fact that she's a straight white woman uh, plays a big role in the hype around her. It's not the numbers that she puts on the scoreboard. So I, I just, I want to point something out. She is the end. Jamil is a fucking sports analyst, though. Here we go. Here we go. Here we fucking go. Here we fucking go, bro. Here we go, dog. What what else could it be outside the fact that Caitlin Clark is the damn nicest woman to lace them up, bro? What the fuck you talking about? NCAA's all-time leading scorer of men and women. In February, she broke the women's record. In March, she broke Pistol Pete Maravich's 3,667-point record. She's had more 30-point games than anyone in the past 25 years. Yeah, okay, okay. I, th I, thought, I thought that they was about to come with the Jamel White energy, but... They're giving you reasons why Caitlin Clark is that motherfucker. And for women, she is the uh, Big Ten's all-time leader in assists. Now, listen, you know, when people say stuff like that, that's like people say, oh, you only got into this this uh, Ivy League college because you're black, or you only got this because of this. This girl earned this. You know, I'm sorry. You know, there are great men, but nobody else has done this. So I'm, I'm not mad that they gave her basketball, but I will suggest to Wilson that one of the things they might want to do, Wilson is the people who make the basketball. Yeah. I just want to make sure. <laughs> we could suggest that in... Uh, what is the word? To honor mm -hmm. the women yeah. who play in the WNBA. Maybe they should do a series of balls. Yeah. Okay. You know? And please, do not make them pink. Okay? <laughs> they don't need to be pink. Just make them regular basketballs because there are some extraordinary players. And she is part of the reason that people are now paying, paying attention. She's the main reason, bro. Keep it a buck. She's the main reason. I know there's other girls out here that are getting attention to, but they wouldn't be getting the attention if Caitlin Clark didn't come out here and do what the hell she did. But I don't give a fuck. I go fuck, bro. There's no debate with that, bro. You take you take Caitlin Clark out this equation, bro. WNBA is not getting any of these fucking numbers, getting any of these goddamn coverage, bro. Caitlin Clark bust that door wide the fuck open, bro. They got her to thank. LeBron said they got her to thank for them chartered jets. They got her to thank for the coverage. They got her to thank for these deals. They got her to thank for this exposure y'all getting, bro. Y'all better goddamn chill out. I don't even know who I'm directing this energy to. I guess to Jamel. Bruh, it just don't make no sense. It doesn't make any sense. If they make, if they gonna make this shit about, it says it in the goddamn title too. Caitlyn Clark's popularity leads to questions, leads to questions of race and sexuality. This ain't got nothing to do with. I'll wait. I'm wait. I'm 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 amp, bro. You know what I'm saying? Cause we ain't about to sit here and do this shit, bro. Yeah. yeah. People are paying attention to the WBA. WBA. <laughs> okay. Let me take this time. Oh, yeah, I, I, no, I, I think what Janelle Hill was saying is mm -hmm. we need to identify communities that have not been, that have not gotten the spotlight. Paige Buckers from UConn gave an amazing SB speech about two years ago. Yeah. Giving her award, essentially, the black women that preceded her saying, although they won 80% of the awards that year, they got less than half of the media coverage. Mm -hmm. All of those things can be true. I think uniquely with Caitlin Clark, she cannot be reduced to much beyond her statistics right. because a, a number is not biased. It just is what it is. But I think that she's also been good about addressing those who came before her. She knows that, like Maya Moore, her idol, mm -hmm. came before her. She's been very reverent in saying it was all these women that opened it up and built the sport, and she's taking it a little further. It also can't be forgotten that she came from Iowa, and I say that not just as a proud Iowa, mm -hmm. but Caitlin Clark could have gone to a much better basketball program. She made a deliberate choice to build a program. A program a lot of times people talk about a goat being only if you have rings. Yeah. Caitlin knew going into her choice at Iowa that she was going to be building a program under the tutelage of Coach Wheeler, mm -hmm. and she took pride in staying home for that. Iowa doesn't have professional teams. We don't get to follow much. So although everyone got on the Caitlin Clark train eventually, Iowa was so thirsty and hungry for a player they could follow and believe in, and you felt like you were a part of it. So that was the beginning of this gusto. LSU, you have all these amazing programs. It's like we're back in national school. Yeah, we were there last year too. You know, like, so they didn't have quite the same oomph as this Iowa program had, and that's part of the reason Caitlin Clark is also such a big deal. Look, I, 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 you know, I've been a, a, a basketball fan since I can remember. I played basketball with my dad in Harlem when I was five years old. Mm -hmm. I, I remember loving the game, and the game not necessarily loving women back, right? At all. And, at all. And um, the WNBA started in 1996. Mm -hmm. First games played in 1997. It's 2024, and we're just really now talking about it. And so if Caitlin Clark is the vehicle that will bring this sport that I have loved so much so about you. to little five-year-old girls playing in Harlem, I say yes, bravo. Yeah. I have no problem with that. But with that being said, I do think that there is a thing called pretty privilege. There is a thing called white privilege. There is a thing called tall privilege. And we have to acknowledge... You say tall privilege? Did she say, did she say tall? Did she say tall? Privilege. There is a thing called tall privilege. And. Privilege. There is a thing called white privilege. There is a thing called tall privilege. And we have to acknowledge that. And so um, the part of it is about race. Because if you think about the Britney Griners of the world, you know, why did she have to go to play in Russia? Because they wouldn't pay. 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 Because they wouldn't pay.
these sponsorships, we hope, into the league and other players will benefit from it. But I do think that she is more relatable to more people because she's white, because she's attractive. And unfortunately, there still is that stigma of against the LGBTQ plus community. 70% of the WNBA is black. A third of the players are in the LGBTQ plus community. And we have to do something about that stigma. Um, in, in this country, I think that people have a problem with, with basketball playing women that are lesbians. Who cares? They are great athletes. What the fuck is she talking about? Is she really that goddamn stupid? They sat there in the green room or whatever the fuck it is. They little brain uh, storming meeting trying to come up with the most retarded shit to say to get people to react like this. There's no fucking way. How does one have to do with the other? How did you go all the way over here? You went all the way over here to tall privilege. They didn't got shit to do with Caitlyn Clark. To white privilege. They didn't got shit to do with Caitlyn Clark. To pretty privilege. Caitlyn Clark ain't no fucking baddie. She's just a hooper. What the fuck? She's a hooper. And she had to damn near break. How many records did she break? She had to damn near break every goddamn record in the women's record book. The men's record book. To fucking put WNBA in front of everybody's face right now. This All the other shit she talking about ain't got nothing to do with nothing. It's just victimhood crying bullshit, bro. Don't nobody give two fucks about no Britney Griner. Don't nobody give two fucks about any of this other bullshit you talking about. Was they breaking the records that Caitlyn broke? Did they fucking stay on Iowa and put Iowa on the fucking map? Did they put the WNBA on their back and have this shit getting more views than the men's basketball tournament? Hell the fuck no. Shut the fuck up, bro. Ain't I trying to hear this shit and you going to minimize the efforts that Caitlin Clark and the other women hoopers are goddamn doing to put the WNBA in front of everybody's face. You minimizing their efforts, dog. Like, you you, you, you chopping their feet from up under them. Trying to make it seem like it's not because of the work, because of other shit. Because people don't like the LGBTQ. I guarantee you, the motherfuckers out here watching these women hoop are not giving two fucks about their sexual identity. They don't even fucking know which side of the goddamn fence they with. Nor do they even fucking care. They just want to see motherfuckers hoop. They want to see Caitlin Clark pull from 40. You out here talking about some, some bullshit, man. Right? It's, it's, it can't be. It can't. She cannot be this goddamn retarded. She cannot be this goddamn stupid, bro. I mean, she may be that much of a victim. That would make sense. That you just, you can't help it, bro. You're going to have to, you're going to try to fucking pull victim out of this shit some type of goddamn way, bro. It don't matter how many goddamn threes Caitlyn hit. <laughs> it don't matter how many assists she fucking hit. It don't matter none of this shit, bro. We still victims. They don't like the gays. Fuck out of here, man. Fuck out of here, dog. That shit's so sad, bro. And it's, it's ironic too, bro, because it's the women out here cutting women down. You would think this shit would come from the men. Now, I mean, I seen Charles, I see Braun out here praising the women and shit. But now you got you got women out here chopping women down, bro. Y'all the one out here was got them hollering from the top of the roof. Hey, you know, we need higher wages for WNBA. We need people to watch more. And then you literally got what the fuck y'all asking for, and y'all still try to cut them down. You know what I'm saying? Still, you still can't get right. Y'all can't win for fucking losing, bro. <laughs> I'm saying y'all. I'm saying y'all. I mean, it's just this is just a view. This is just a view. But it, it it has to be more running narratives in regards to this for this to be such an issue. What, what Jamel Hill said it. She said it. Um, I seen some other fucking coach. Let me see if I can find that goddamn video. I'm off this bitch. Um, there was another fucking video of some basketball coach talking about the same shit. Let me see if I saved it. Oh, here we go. Uh, this narrative of everybody hating on her, knock it off, is not here. Becky Hammond on Caitlin Clark. I don't know who the hell she is. I'm assuming she's a coach, a professional coach. Hold on. I think she's amazing. I watched every time I possibly could. God, and our and our league loves her. This has nothing to do. We're just doing our job. We're going to show up. Who is ever on the other team is on the other team. We don't really care. We're going to show up and do us. And so I think this narrative of like we're everybody we're tired, everybody yeah. hating on Caitlyn Clark and there. even the black and white thing, yeah. knock it off. It's not there. It's not there. So shut down the noise. And by the way, what is she, 22? She's a 22-year-old woman with a lot of pressure. She's not perfect. <laughs> She's not perfect. She's a rookie in this league. Like, back off. Yeah. Back She's off. learning and growing just like everyone else. 
We love Caitlyn Clark. Yeah. I feel like that's when people don't give her a chance. This is growth. We tell our rookies every single day, this is new. You're coming into a whole other new world and starting over. So it, it's the questions are only annoying because it's like, She's young. She's a rookie. Y'all keep asking us these questions as if she's a grown-ass woman that's been in this league for years. Like, no, she's doing her job. We're doing ours. And at the end of the day, that's how we grow is when we get better and do things like that. So, yeah, I'm just exhausted over the conversation because I know she's exhausted. I can only imagine. So, and yeah. so far as the <laughs> charters and this and that, I don't care if Kermit the Frog made the change. We've been fighting for this. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. <laughs> we've, no, no. we've been pushing. I mean, I've played in this league at 99, and we were traveling the same way. And I'm, like I said, I don't really care who's bringing this or who's bringing the crowds. What I care is that they're there and they're on the eyes and they see how great women's basketball is. That's what I care about. And that's a mic drop. Bye. <laughs> I don't know, the last part of that shit sounded kind of bitter, bro. <laughs> it, it sounded kind of bitter, bro. I ain't gonna cap, bro. Y'all, you feel the type of way that it, it Caitlyn was responsible for. We should have been had it before then. Who the fuck is Caitlyn? Nah, bro. You know what this shit sound like? It's, it's a it's a, it's a, it's a gumbo full of bullshit that ain't got nothing to do with men, which is the ironic thing about it. The narrative is that you know, men be hating on the WNBA. Nah, men just don't fucking watch it because it's not entertaining. But look, regardless of any of the noise going on this shit is what y'all need bro like the the gossipy shit talking people getting pissed victimhood racism white privilege shit all this shit is good for ratings it's gonna bring all y'all that much more views at the end of the day and that's all y'all give a fuck about but i know exactly what this shit stems from now hearing these motherfuckers talk about it they feel some type of way about one woman being responsible for putting the WNBA on the main stage. Y'all been fighting for this shit for the longest, been screaming, been beating y'all's chest, been calling, been, been, been calling the, the world misogynistic and, and saying that, you know, we need equal pay and, and been, been fighting for it. And now you got it, but y'all are mad about the way y'all are getting it because y'all feel like y'all was deserving of this attention on y'all alone. But the women, the women that are hating feel the type of way about a little girl out of Iowa bringing that. And on top of the fact she white. And on top of the fact y'all calling a girl. I am, I'm not knocking Caitlyn, bro, but she ain't like she a baddie. But to say some, some pretty privileged shit, come on now. Y'all keep it a stack like she ain't the best to look at. So that's a reach. All this shit is a reach, but that's definitely a fucking reach, man. That shit remind me of like some Eminem shit. <laughs> right? Eminem. You know what I'm saying? Out here killing the black man's game. And the, the 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 black world mad at the the white boy for doing this so well, you know what I'm saying? He getting all the recognition. It's the same shit with Caitlyn now, bro. I just hope y'all don't wash her out, bro. I hope she got some thick ass skin and she stay her ass off of fucking social media, bro. Um, cause y'all gonna y'all gonna wash her out. Y'all better not wash her out because y'all need her. <laughs> y'all need her. That's crazy. <laughs> Here you go. Liberals, why won't anybody watch the WNBA? Caitlin Clark emerges. People start watching. Liberals. Caitlin Clark has white privilege and pretty privilege. <laughs> you can't write this shit. I come right off of a goddamn movie script, dog. In fact, no disrespect to Cece, but I haven't seen a single person calling her pretty. There's players out there that get more attention because of their looks, but I definitely don't think it's Cece. No, she get attention because of the buckets. <laughs> oh, that's funny, bro. That's funny, dog. The whole time, y'all thinking it's men out here keeping y'all down. It's the patriarchy. You know what I'm saying? It's a man's world. Nah, y'all gonna, gonna chew her up and spit out. <laughs> and then ain't nobody gonna watch shit. <laughs>